when i have created a video on the itgc someone recently asked about it application controls as well so that's why i'm creating this video for your understanding on what are different types of itgc controls along with practical example case studies two case studies i will discuss in this video to help you understand what is it application controls and how to apply them in the real world so thank you so much for watching please watch carefully and as always if you have any questions please ask in the comment section thank you So IT application control stands for information technology application controls. Okay. The main reason why we should include these controls is again the same. Why we discussed ITGC is the confidentiality, integrity and availability of data which is processed using the organization's applications. So if your organizations are processing some data and if you have applications which are being used in your organizations you should understand what are the important information information technology application controls okay so itgc basically focuses on the entire it environment like we discussed there are different uh, you know access controls there were different backups the uh, backups change management a lot of things were there however in itac controls the name itself suggests that these are information technology application controls only and these are for your organizational specific applications and their associated functionalities what sort of processes do you have associated with those applications and what sort of controls you need to have in order to have the itac controls in place okay so three main categories of itac controls are input controls processing controls and output controls so any application if you see has inputs has outputs and in the middle it processes some sort of uh, processing the data okay so let us uh, understand first of all the first phase which is input control so input control is very easy to understand any thing which you are entering into the application uh, it should be complete it should be accurate and it should be valid okay so you have to make checks in place you have to control this environment of input to the application so that you know you have only accurate data valid data which is uh, as per your application requirements and complete information okay and how do you do that you include range checks you limit the number of entries with specific values you introduce mandatory fields okay you only require specific data to be entered you do not uh want your fields to be open okay so that anybody can enter anything you have to implement data type checks okay for example if you are asking for a specific date field in the application and you want the user to enter the data so it should match the expected format which is desired by the application okay so here data type checks ensures that the data which is being entered should match the expected format okay second is processing controls so once the data has been entered the application actually performs some sort of processing okay after data is verified you perform some calculations you perform some data processing and it has to be proper okay so you need to have proper hashing algorithms to make sure that there is no sort of uh, unauthorized data changes and the application is processing all the data properly and consistently okay uh, you also perform reconciliations for consistency as well output controls again as the name suggests is protecting the integrity and security of the data exiting the application for example once you have applied some calculations the data which is now going out from the application it should be encrypted okay so that when you are sending it to any other place nobody can just access it there should be proper access controls in place so that you know who are the stakeholders who can view and modify that data and you need to have proper logging and monitoring 
to track the user activity and system events associated with the output as well okay so very easy to understand i think now let us understand this with practical examples so that all this makes a lot of sense to you okay so now in this scenario we are considering a e-commerce application okay uh, where you are you know uh, processing some customer orders where you have different sort of uh, you know goods and services which you are providing using your e-commerce application platform okay this is an online e-commerce application platform so how do you control the input first of all is the first thing because there are three categories input processing and output so number one is test case you try to attempt an order with some sort of invalid entry okay like invalid credit card number incorrect number of digits incorrect dates you try to do that and assess whether you are able to assess uh, that or not okay are you able to access the system with in invalid entries or not okay and ideally the system should reject the order and display an error message okay and you should also try to leave the mandatory fields empty and again ideally system should prevent the order submission until all the required fields are filled so this is how you can control the input like i discussed already for processing controls you should try to place an order which is actually more uh, discounted than the allowable limit so system should automatically adjust the discount to the maximum allow allowable value and not with the value that you have selected okay this is how it should respond okay so you have you have to check this whether this is happening or not if you are checking the itsc controls of your application e-commerce application after that you compare your order totals with manually checked values based on the items that have been sold from the e-commerce platform and according to the tax rate so ideally it should match the total should match indicating accurate calculations are performed by the application so here you verify the integrity okay output controls again you access order for details for a customer you don't have permissions to view you try to see if you can do that okay so here system should deny your access and log the unauthorized attempt since you do not have the uh, authority to access the order for a customer that you do not have permissions to do so okay second test you can do is verify if sensitive data like credit card numbers are encrypted in reports or logs and here you should see that the in, uh, you know sensitive data like credit card numbers are masked and are unreadable without any sort of decryption keys so this is one example now here is another example for itsc controls because i think some people will still not be clear so that's why i am starting giving two examples now so that you have better clarity okay uh, so here in imagine a hospital information system and uh, we, you are actually using this to manage the patient records and billing information okay so now in this case in the hospital information system what will be your checks or in input controls and what would be the expected results what would be, what would be your checks on processing controls and what would be the uh, you know checks on output controls and expected results so let us go one by one so for input controls you should try to enter a patient's date of birth with an invalid format okay so you should uh, you know your system should actually reject the input and should display error message similarly you should try to enter medication dose exceeding the safe limits which are defined in your uh, hospital information system and again it should restrict the dosage entry and suggested uh, as appropriate ranges based on the patient information and medical guidelines which are fitted in the application okay so this should happen how do you check uh, processing controls in this case you manually calculate the total medication cost for a patient treatment based on the uh medicine pricing and compare it to the system generated bill so ideally both amounts should match okay to verify the integrity okay with the hi system second thing what you can test is simulate a scenario where insurance eligibility information changes for a patient during the stay verify if the system automatically recalculates the updated bills or not okay so here the system should have the updated insurance information it should adjust charges accordingly by itself and should generate the revised bills properly and how to check the output controls output controls is very very easy 
as a non authorized healthcare professional you should try to attempt to access sensitive patient information like their lab reports lab results diagnosis information uh, medical information and ideally the system should restrict your access and should log this attempt safeguarding the patient privacy in this case if it is not doing that then your output controls are not properly placed second thing what you can verify in this case is verify patient discharge summary is encrypted before being sent to external parties like referrals or for any research purposes so here your sensitive data should be encrypted properly and you should be asked for a decryption key for authorized access preventing any unauthorized data breaches in this case okay so i hope that this uh, makes sense to you and again as always if you are still not clear on it application controls any more examples you need or any more questions if you have please feel free to ask in the comment section thank you so much for watching take care bye bye